Whilst Dragon Mouse here, I'm going to be quickly tearing down this old TV receiver set top box. I have no idea what's in it. Looks pretty old. Old SCART connector there. Before HDMI. Has no screws on it, so it's been opened before. So I'm not sure how long this will take to get into or what will be inside. But I'll be aiming for any materials within the format of recovery, as usual. Any gold or silver. So let's find out what's inside. Looks like I have to pry it open. Plastic latches on the side. If I can just push them out of the way, I should be able to pop the top off. But one moves out of the way, the other will fall back in place. So, bit of leverage. Mm, there does appear to be a screw under here, under the label. Hidden. Yep. What kind of screw we got there? A hex screw. There's a hex screw. Them things are nightmares to get through unless you have the right equipment. So I'll just tear the top straight off. Just a chunk of plastic anyway. Ooh, quite good salvage within there. Unexpected. Lots of nice chips, receiver chips here. Yeah. Timing crystal, silver, silver recovery. Always nice. Lots of silver plated connectors and solder. Ribbon cable here. It is silver plated, as you can see there. Not much to recover on them, but there is some precious metals within here. Quite a few microchips. These all have tiny amounts of gold within these things. We have some copper here on the inducers, not many, not much. I mean. See here? As well as some capacitors for aluminium recovery and such. Not too much inside this, but at the same time, not too bad. Let's try and get underneath it. Are there any other screws in there? Mm, steel plate here. Yeah. Mm, bendy steel plate. <laughs> what is this fastened by? Ah, it's this screw, that hex screw. Previously, ah, there we go. Break off the plastic straight off. No point in being gentle. Ah, there we go. And I got the hex screw out as well. <laughs> Anything else here holding this in place? Don't. No, it's just a wedge boy here, a bit of plastic. Got me. Okay, what we got on the underside? Some small amount of silver solder. Same on the connectors here for the RF box, the SCART, and there's only one SCART, so not too much silver solder, but there is pure silver inside of the contact of the crystal. Small amounts of palladium in these capacitors here, MLCCs. Tiny little brown things, not the black things. So, there is a little bit on them. There should be another crystal inside of here as well. See if I can pop that off quickly and get to it. These things can be popped off if you get on the sides and just sort of bend them off. You can see here.
This will save me doing it at a later date anyway. Because there is usually some components inside of these little RF boxes. See what I mean? Quite a bit of silver solder there. But the crystal will be on the other side. Let's have a look. Some copper in there also. Hmm. Don't look like I'll be able to bend that off. He's fastened here. We'll see. Might as well have a try. See if I can pop the case off. Without shattering the circuit board too much. Show you where that timing crystal is. Mm, sounds loose. I have to pull that off carefully, try not to cut myself. And no. That's well jammed in there. Well, oh, then mine is the timing crystal. See that there? That's the other timing crystal where it's located inside of the RF box. Right at the top. Opposite the connectors. Quite a bit sharp bit of metal that. Bend that back down. Seems I'll have to desolder the connections to get to that. Not cutting myself too badly, that is. Since it's well fixed in place. The reason for that is the other connecting end is buried under these. Yeah. These other connectors. But there's not bad material inside there after all, considering. A bit of copper, some microchips for gold, IC chips, tiny amounts of palladium, aluminium, and some silver. Well, till next time.